Um, hello, my name is Yuan Haoshen. I'm from Xi'an University of Posts and Telecommunications. I'm very glad to here um, have this opportunity to attend the conference. The topic of my presentation is joint extraction of entity and relation with information redundancy elimination. My presentation will include four parts. First, the background of our research. Second, the joint extraction method we proposed in, the, in this paper. Third, experiments and results onto data sets. At last, some conclusions we've got. First, I would like to introduce the background of our research. Supervised extraction of entity and relation usually uses a pipeline or joint learning approach. The pipeline approach treats the extraction task as two serial subtasks. The named entity recognition task and the relation classification task. The pipeline method usually encounter error propagation, um, redundancy problem, and paying little attention to the relevance of the two subtasks. To tackle these problems, researchers have conducted a lot of research on the joint learning and achieved better results. Joint learning refers to extracting entities and classifying relations by one joint model. And the joint model usually adopts two ideas, parameter sharing and joint decoding. Although these joint methods take advantage of the relevance of subtasks to mitigate the error propagation, but there are still overlapping relations and a serious redundancy problem. The redundancy problem means that the model generates and classify a large number of unrelated entity pairs. So why does this happen? After analysis, analysis, this is because in order to obtain all possible entity pairs, the traditional method classifies all word pairs or entity pairs, and the vast majority of these pairs are not related. Based on the above analysis, our research goal is to pr propose a joint model that can extract related entity pairs from sample without generating redundancy information. Next, I first introduce the overall structure of the proposed model, and then introduce each mod module in detail. It can be seen from figure one, that the joint model we proposed consists of three modules, named anti-recognition module, the anti-pair extraction module, and the relation classification module. The named anti-recognition module identif identifies the anti-level of each token in the text. The EPE module first extracts multiple sets of sentence encoding. Each set of encoding contains a related entity pair, and then the EPE module identifies the subject entity and the object entity in each set of encoding. Finally, the RC module classifies the relation. The NER module includes a pre-trained BERT model for generating word embedding, an LSTM decoding layer for solving label dependencies, and a softmax layer. The label of NER module are in BIO format. The entity category depends on the specific data set. Next, I will introduce the core of the model, the EPE module. We found that retrieving the pairs of related entities from the sample in a specific order can get a unique sequence. For example, when the search order is from left to right, left to right, we can get the form of David, AP, AP, Seattle. And we also found the order of the sequence is not dependent on whether or not there are overlapping relations among the entities. Based on the above analysis, 
we purposed a EPE model to model the order between related entity pairs. The EPE module consists of an encoder LSTM network for modeling the order between related entity pairs and uh, extracting multiple sets of sentence encoding, an LSTM decoding layer and a soft max layer for identifying the subject entity and the object entity in each encoding. The level of EPE module are in BIO format. There are two types of entity tags, subject and object. The RC module consists of an encoder structure for learning the information of input, an attention layer for getting relation vector. The RC task is a multi-classification task and its label depends on the data set. Next, I will introduce the experimental settings and results. We conducted experiments on two data sets the ADE dataset and the call NLL04 dataset. The first dataset includes two entity types and a single relation type. The second dataset contains four entity types and five relation types. The baselines, the baselines we used are recent methods for the two datasets. For example, the joint extraction method based on multi-head selection proposed by Bicolis et al. in 2018, and the span-based joint model proposed by Ebers et al. in 2019. We have followed the comparison methods in all aspects, such as the segment, segmentation of data sets, the setting of cross-validation, and the evaluated uh, to compare with the previous research, we evaluated the experiment of the three submodule by the values of precision, recall, and FE measure. We used two different settings to evaluate performance, namely strict and relaxed. The final experimental results are shown in table one. It can be seen from the results that our model has achieved excellent performance on both NER and RC modules. Mm. But the overall performance of our model is similar to the comparison methods. The reason for the above phenomenon is that the performance of EPE module has become the bottleneck of the overall performance. The performance of the EPE module plays a key role in the entire model. In addition, it can be noticed that there are differences in the performance of the model on the two data sites. After analysis, this is related to the number of samples containing multiple related entity pairs in the data set. Because our model extracts information by learning the order relationship of the related entity pairs, the ADE data set can provide more effective data than the course NLL04 data set. We conducted abl ablation tests on the ADE data set reported in table two to analyze the effectiveness of components in the model. The performance of EPE and RC modules decreases when we remove the connect layer normal layer L of the RC module and only use the predict subject object labels and the sentence encoding as inputs for the RC task. This shows that the predicted entity labels and the word embedding provide meaningful information for the RC component and this approach can solve the problem of information loss between subtasks. We also conducted experiments by removing the encode LSTM network and substituting it with an LSTM network. This approach has a significant impact on the performance of EPE module and RC module. This happens because the encoder structure can improve the ability of RNN to model sentence. How to evaluate the redundancy 
problem of each model. When the number of triples in the sample is known, the more the model classifies the relationship, the more serious the, the redundancy problem. That means the redundancy is proportional to the number of times the model classifies the relations. So we use the number to evaluate and compare the redundancy of different models. Based on the above analysis, we obtained a statistical table as shown in table three. The parameter M, K, and N stand for the sentence length, the number of entities, and the hyperparameters of our model respectively. The value of hyperparameter N depends on the specific conditions of each data set. For example, assuming the input sample is shown in figure three, then M, K, and N take the value of 128, three, and three respectively. The number of times of the four methods are 812, nine, nine, and three, but the example only have two triples. Therefore, if the value of N is appreciately selected, the redundancy of the proposed method is much smaller than that of other methods. In general, we proposed the a joint extraction model based on anti-pair extraction to solve the redundancy problem. We verified the effectiveness of the method and evaluated the performance of the model. Compared with other joint extraction methods, our method solves the problem of redundancy information while achieving excellent performance and can handle the cases with overlapping relationships. We also propose the encoder LSTM network, which improves the ability of recurrent units to model sentences. Finally, the, the work is partially supported by the Shanxi K laboratory of network data analysis and intelligence processing. Our deep gratitude also goes to the reviewers for their suggestion for improving this paper. I sincerely thank my mentor, Professor Jingang Han, for his guidance. That's all my presentation. Thank you.